were at a church in Lewiston, Maine over the weekend to pay their respects to the victims and to show up in solidarity for one another. Mon Monica Medeja reports. Michael Delorier II. A bell tolls with the solemn reading of each name. The 18 innocent people killed in Lewiston remembered for the lives they led. My friend was Trisha Aslund. Just, she was awesome. Um, she's literally the person that would give you the shirt off her back. A community left trying to make sense of Wednesday night shootings at a massive vigil at the Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul Sunday night. It was beautiful, really, to see everybody come together and see how strong this community has been. Fifteen hundred people inside, just as many outside, wrapped in donated Red Cross blankets, some clutching teddy bears, hoping their presence gives comfort to those hurting. I know it helps. Messages from faith leaders to the grieving families. Know that your loss and the way that you were impacted will drive us to become better people. The tragedy bringing the hearing and deaf communities together. Four of the victims were deaf. Let us all remember that even in the darkest times, our community's strength will shine the brightest. Even in the dim candlelight, this community looking stronger than ever. In the moment of Wednesday night, it was tense. And to see all the community supporting each other was pretty special. Many people in the community know the sign, I love you. It's this handshake. Share this sign and let us not forget those who have been taken from us.